What's up guys, you're watching Tom Trips Out. It's a sunny afternoon here in Phnom Penh. And this episode's gonna be all about how to find a job and what types are even available. My name's Tom and this is my trip out. Well hey everybody come along with me Take a trip to a place to find what I see Make me believe we'll see the joy they bring And how much it costs to try new things Well, come and watch me on the trip out My name's Tom, this is my trip out So I'm just randomly walking around So if you've been watching my videos, you're probably someone who's thinking about moving here or traveling here. And you might be wondering, how do you find a job while you're out there? You know, it can help raise money to continue the traveling or, you know, pay for an apartment if you stay for a bit. Well, there's many ways, many types of jobs. And even with teaching, there's many types of teaching jobs. So we're gonna get into each one of those as well as other jobs aside from teaching. So buckle up, it's coming up next. So the easiest way to get a job, just the way I got a job, is if you sign up with a great TEFL course, like the one I took, they line you up with job interviews as you graduate the course. So right as you're coming out and you're completing it, you're already having interviews and the demand for teachers is so strong, usually you get the job. As long as you dress professionally and you know do well in the interview. If you'd like to know which course I took that lines up with the job right after, the link is in the description. So just look down below. There's a, a referral code too. If you use my referral code when you get here, I can personally get you some money back for using my name. Check in the description for the details. So another way you could find a job, and it's, it's a little harder, you have to do a lot more of the leg work yourself and you have no one really vouching for you. But you could show up here with, uh, you know, if you're TEFL certified, and you look up a whole bunch of schools ahead of time and where they are, you dress nice and bring a whole bunch of copies of your CV, and you kind of do a run from school to school to school all in a day or you know over the course of a day or two dropping off your CV in person to all the schools around sometimes they'll interview you right on the spot there's many stories of people doing that way and uh, I've heard stories of people even getting a job like the same day that they landed or the next day just by doing that that way you have to get to do all the legwork yourself and all the communicating yourself, and they might not speak English. The first option, going through the TEFL school, they do a lot of that legwork for you. You basically just get an email from schools that are saying they're interested and they set up a time to interview you. So that was the way I did it. It took all the guesswork away. It was all very well organized. And you know, I, had, I was lined up with interviews just coming out of the course. So again, th that's what I would recommend. There's a link down below if you're interested in that. So another type of job uh, that's available here is teaching online. And I guess that's available everywhere. But that's an option some people do here. Or you could do partly in person, partly online. The only thing about teaching online is from what I've heard, I've only ever taught in person, but from what I've heard, it can take a couple months to even a year before you build up enough students online that are coming back to you regularly to be paid the same as like a full-time job. But once you can build up that student base, it's the pay is much higher per hour. So it can be worth it in the long run. It's just a lot of work in the beginning and a struggle to even get students. The other thing about teaching online, you might think, oh, it's great, I could set my own hours to do it whenever I want. 
but really you're at the mercy of when your clients would be available. So you, it's really whenever your students are available, that's when you have to be available or else you're going to be sacrificing students because if, you, if you're only, if you're very limited with your time schedule, you won't have many students available at the same time. So it requires a lot more flexibility too. But if you can get it going and build it up, you can get paid way more and then, you know, work from home. You don't have to commute. It can be great. So when you do the course I take, they actually put you in schools and you do practice classes in front of children. And those same very schools, sometimes they need teachers. So they're watching you. And those little practice sessions that are part of your course, they end up being almost a job interview or job opportunity at the same time because they're watching you and they like what they see. It's only like a week or two later that you're graduated and then they'll hire you there. So that's another more added value that the course offers that you can't get anywhere else if you just show up here. It's something to think about. Another thing, a lot of people, they often picture like teaching a kindergarten class of little kids and like, oh, I could never do that. It doesn't have to be little kids. Like even I, my first job, and I'm still teaching there now, I teach grade eight. So they're like 13 years old. It doesn't have to be little two-year-olds screaming and stuff like that. There's also language centers here that you could have uh, like adult learners or teach them language for job interviews or business stuff. So it's not all nursery or kindergarten. Often those jobs too, they only hire females for that age level usually. They'll even say it in the job posting, female only. Just for the nursery and, and kindergarten, that's just what's normal here. So I'm just randomly walking around doing this video and I noticed I just walked by a huge international school. See, there it is behind me. So they're everywhere. You can't avoid them. Here, I'll flip it around. International Academy, Maxon. So right there, if I had a shirt and tie, I could walk in there with my CV and maybe ask to speak to the principal and you never know. They'd set up an interview or maybe interview you right on the spot. I swear, I just walked like 50 feet to here's another school. Here's a preschool though, so it's for younger kids. See, right there in the distance was the school I just showed you. 50 steps away, another school. They're everywhere and there's a big shortage of teachers, so now's the best time to come. Sign up with the TEFL course. We're connected to all the schools, so they'll throw your resume out to all of them at once and you'll just start getting emails for job interviews as the course is finishing. It's that easy. So click on that link below and use my referral code and I can get you some money back after you enroll as well. So I know some of you are wondering out there, so is teaching the only way you can make money? Is there any other jobs that foreigners or expats can do here? Well, the answer is yes. I have friends that are bartending. I've seen servers. You know, if you have some kind of skill or talent, you could be freelance like textiles or making clothes or something. Um, I have musician friends that are gigging. You probably can't really live off that, but it's a little bit of pocket money. So yeah, you don't have to be a teacher, but that's just the most stable, like full-time job. And especially if you're a native English speaker, the demand is so strong, it almost feels like a no-brainer, like go, go get that job. So yeah, or you could do a combination of both, like teach part-time and be a bartender or server in the in the evenings so I'd suggest come on over take the TEFL course I took and everything just gets set in a line for you well I hope I was able to clear things up for you answer some of your questions about finding a job that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching hit the subscribe button and remember how you spend your days is the way you spend your life. It's never too late to start tripping out.